All right. I'm here with Shannon Liss Royden. She's running for Attorney General. Thank you very much for dropping by. All right. Thanks so much for talking to me. Okay. So uh, we have an active Attorney General's race going on. How would you define the differences between you and the other candidates? The difference that distinguishes me from the other candidates in this race is that I have the experience. I'm the only one in this race who is an actual practicing lawyer. I'm the only one who has run a law firm. I have spent more than 23 years fighting in the courts and winning for working people. I've taken on some of the largest corporations in America and I've won companies like Starbucks, FedEx, Uber, IBM. Um, this is a very serious job where we need an experienced, seasoned attorney, not so much a politician. I'm not a politician. I'm a lawyer, and I'm looking forward to serving the people of Massachusetts as the next people's lawyer. Okay, so a, a very much a theme for me talking to any statewide candidate is regional equity. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, we feel a little bit neglected out here in the four western counties, and for good reason, mm -hmm. because we are neglected frequently. If you're the Attorney General, you're the Attorney General for the entire Commonwealth, how are you going to deal with issues of regional equity in terms of access? Yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree. I've been out in Western Massachusetts a lot during this campaign, and I will be out here a lot as Attorney General. So the Attorney General's office has outposts in different parts of the state. There's an outpost in Springfield. I will definitely keep that and look into whether we should have more outposts, because the AG's office needs to be accessible to everyone across the state. It's the people's law firm. If you have a complaint, if you've been scammed by a corporation as a consumer, uh, if you haven't gotten your wages paid by your employer, you need to be able to go to the AG's office and we can do something about that. So I will be out here. Um, I will hold office hours out here in Western Massachusetts so that folks can come and talk to me about what they'd like to see the AG's office do. I was out there on the steps of the Springfield Courthouse this spring calling for the closure of that courthouse, which is in horrendous shape. It's not a safe place for people to work and go conduct court business. Uh, I called for the closure of that courthouse. We can do better as a commonwealth. We need to find a new location and a safe location. Okay, you, you just stole my thunder by answering the question about the Roderick Ireland Courthouse. But let me, what do you see as some of the pending issues that if you make it to Attorney General that you would have to deal with that you know are on the horizon? Yeah, well, the, um, Attorney General Mara Healy's done a terrific job, and I really look forward to following in her footsteps, taking on and expanding the important work she's been doing. Uh, there's a lot of unfinished business there. She has taken on the pharmaceutical industry for bringing us the opioid crisis. That is the type of high-stakes impact litigation that I've been doing and winning throughout my career, so I look forward to continuing that. Uh, we've got more bad actor corporations who need to be held accountable. She's taken on Exxon for lying to us for decades about climate change. That's other litigation that I look forward to continuing and expanding against other bad actors. Um, we have a Supreme Court who has been ripping apart our rights on the federal level, particularly over these last few months. Um, and I'm planning to use the full power of the State Attorney General's office to make sure that our rights here in Massachusetts are protected. Okay, so I asked one of your uh, fellow candidates this question. I'll ask you the question. Are you, are you devoted... I shouldn't say this because that's leading the witness, as they say, as a lawyer. Are you committed to the idea of making sure women in Massachusetts have their reproductive rights secured, however they want to go, but they have the options to go in whatever direction they need or want to go in? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've been a women's rights activist for uh, my whole adult life. I marched for choice in college. I. Um, I worked for the Center for Reproductive Law and Policy while in law school defending abortion rights nationwide. So absolutely, there are laws on the books that we, we're fortunate in Massachusetts to have. We're fortunate to have the Roe Act. Um, we're fortunate that the legislature just passed another law to strengthen abortion rights here in Massachusetts. But I know from my career as a civil rights lawyer, laws do not enforce themselves. We need to have an aggressive, knowledgeable attorney leading the AG's office to make sure that our rights here to abortion services are protected and that they're actually accessible. Uh, and I will make sure that other states, those red states that are trying to ban abortion, are not able to come into Massachusetts and stop people here from exercising their rights in Massachusetts. Women in Massachusetts as well as people coming from outside the state. Shannon, thank you so much. I know you're out there crowd surfing. 
Have you been to this event before? Oh, I have. I love this event. Yes, yes it's yeah. it's it's the political mosh pit of Massachusetts. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank Appreciate you so much it. for having me. Appreciate My pleasure. It.